This, uh, this video is going to demonstrate an interesting technique that Excel has for importing data into a worksheet. We're going to use this imported data in our, on our worksheet to uh, actually write a little program. So uh, you need to understand how to do this and then we'll take a look at, uh, well actually we'll record a macro doing this and, uh, and then we'll take a little look at the macro. So basically the idea is is that we want to write a little program that will allow a person to uh, have a little currency converter that will convert currencies from one uh, type of currency to another like uh, converting from the United States dollar to the euro or converting from a euro to the United States dollar or something like that. So what we need is we need the exchange rates. We need to get the exchange rates into Excel so that when our little program starts up it'll have those exchange rates available for doing the conversions. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to import from a website the exchange rates. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So basically in Excel you have a data ribbon and you can uh, click on the data ribbon and on the data ribbon in the top left of your data ribbon there's a group that says uh, get external data and we would like to get the data from the web now when you're going to get the data from the web you generally have a URL in mind of where or address of where you're going to get that data well I've got a URL right here that you can see on the screen and I'm going to go ahead and just copy that URL get it on my uh, clipboard and then I'm going to click the from web button and Excel opens up a little window and, and you'll notice near the top of this window there is a, a, spl a spot for an address now that address is already selected and highlighted so all I need to do is a control V on my keyboard and paste and you'll notice my paste didn't work so I'm not sure what's going on with that but let's go back and we'll uh, try copying that URL again I'm not sure why I didn't get that URL so I'll go ahead and copy the URL right here in the address in the uh, formula bar so I'll copy that go back to my uh, from web button and now I'm gonna go ahead and paste and there's the URL pasted in and then I click the go button to go to that web address and then it pulls up this uh, this page it pulls up the web page and you'll notice on this web page you get these little yellow arrows next to various components on the web page and every one of these little, ye little yellow arrows is highlighting a particular area of that web page and what we want is we want to grab this table of data right here and this table of data you know is basically converting one American dollar to other currencies and then also converting other currencies um, like US dollars so let me let me go ahead and click this little arrow right here this next to that table and uh, and I'll just go ahead and say import and uh, it says where do you want to put it and let's just go ahead and drop it in a1 the default location click OK and it goes out and gets the data and there's the data and you'll notice that it pulled all of that right onto my sheet here this one cell of course doesn't have anything useful in it for us but uh, let's take a look at the euro so the euro on this particular day one US dollar is worth 80 cents in euro and I'll move my title here out of the way the uh, euro is worth uh, um, 124 a dollar 24 so that means that if you wanted to buy a, something in in England that cost one euro, you'd have to pay a dollar and twenty four, almost a dollar and a quarter, to buy that. So your U.S. dollar is not worth as much. So anyway, I didn't record this, so let's go ahead and uh, record that macro and see what that looks like. So I'll go to my developer ribbon here and I'll say record a macro, and uh, it says macro name. Let's go ahead and say get conversion and click OK and the macro recorder is running so I'll go to my data ribbon I'll say from web I'll paste the URL I'll click the go button and then I'll click on this little yellow arrow that you see here on that page click the import button tell it I want it to go into cell A1 click OK and there it all is and now I just need to stop my macro recorder so I'll stop that and let's go take a look at our macro now and see what that looks like. So here's the macro, and it and we'll just start at the top. It, this is a pretty ugly uh, macro. It says with active sheet query tables add, 
and then they're adding this connection and you'll notice in the connection it says URL and then it gives the actual URL so there's the URL that we typed so you could actually have a program put that in there concatenate this whole string you know starting URL and then concatenate in whatever address variable you might have and then concatenate it on to the end there and then so what we're going to do is we're just going to ignore the rest of this stuff and uh, my sound had a little glitch and so I'm now recording again on top of this audio uh, video so let's just see how we can do this so that's the recorded um, macro and uh, at this point we're going to just go ahead and try out this macro and uh, let's see what happens with this so we'll create a brand new sheet and we're going to go ahead and run the macro and zap it goes out to the web page just sucks all that stuff in and now we can start using this in our form that we're going to create to actually do the currency conversions so a person could have this currency conversion on their desktop and run it in it whenever they want and it'll pull in all this information off the web so let's take a look at that form so the user form's got a list box. Now a list box is where we're going to put all the names of the currencies so the user can actually pick it from the list and then choose you know, how much money they want to convert to or from that particular currency. So we're going to just call this thing a currency list, a little redundant name there, but that's okay. Now the next question is how do we get stuff into the currency list? we'd like to get all of the names of the various currencies into our currency list as we run the program there you can look in your book in chapter 14 they have a nice description of how to do this several ways they got this row source thing that you can use and I'm just going to show a demonstration of how we can actually in, inject information into that list box from VBA and we're going to do that in the form initialize event so that when the form gets created it simply adds the elements we want to see in the list box and does it pretty much on the fly when the program is created and we can do this of course because we have all this information on the on the sheet there starting in row two and going down to last row so we need to take a look at the initialize event we need to get that on the screen so we we make sure we have the user form selected there in our menu and then we select the initialize event from the drop down menu and we're going to just put a little bit of code in here that will initialize uh, some values in our list so we can just type lst and then control space bar and it'll pop that up and the add item method the add item method allows you to add items to a list box so i'm just going to go ahead and add a few strings here you can imagine how we could add it though from the sheet by saying add item cells row comma column and then put that in a for loop so it goes around cells row comma column cells rows column column and just does add item add item add item write down that list of names and it'll add it all to the list box and so when the form comes up on the screen you'll see all of these elements added to your list box and the user can then click on one of those and use that selected item to do the currency conversion so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make a button so we can put a button uh, on our form and pull that list box up and uh, see what the uh, see what it looks like with those three items added to it so let's go ahead and change the name of our form to form converter and in our module we'll just add a sub that uh, will take form converter and call the dot show method on that form so we can see it on the screen so again I can just type frm and control spacebar to get that variable name on the screen the form converter dot show and then go ahead and insert a button with your developer tools and uh, the macro we want to run is show form so we'll just go ahead and choose that and we won't rename it or anything we'll just give it a, a test here so we'll click on that so there are the items added to our list box and so the user can then select you'll notice we got this scroll bar sideways because one of those was a little too long and now the user clicks on that, picks the currency they wish. So let's see if you can get this list box working, and we'll do the rest later.